Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falcon Paladin coming at ya with yet another edition of StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void! Today, gonna be a Sunday cast between Serral and Cure from Stay at Home Story Cup that happened earlier this year. Bottom right of Deathora, we've got ourselves a Red Terran player. It is Cure, and in the top left, we've got Serral. Serral, former world champion, still at the top of his game. He qualified for the group stages of the current DreamHack uh, bracket for ESL. There are three <laughs> Zergs in the brackets. Well, in the group stages for the current GSL. Dark, Rainer, and Serral out of 16 players. Which to me means, in the current meta, Zerg has a very high ceiling and a very high skill ceiling as well. Hmm. Alright, so one Rax expand here for Cure. 16, 18, 17 from Serral. Hit that like button if you're excited to see what Cure can do to slow down Serral. If you don't slow down the top Zerg players, man, you're gonna get overrun by Creep, you're getting overrun by Banelings and Lings and Ultralisks and Vipers and sometimes Infestors and the Creep spread will be all over the place, all over the map and if you want to leave your base, you have to go into the creep, and that is not very fun. So, that's why I build Hellions. Oh, no Reaper. No Reaper here from Cure? Uh. Alright, man. I don't know if you're Bion or not, but. Cool. I mean, Serral's gonna make four Zerglings. Uh, anyway. So. Yeah. Again, I kind of feel like it's a good idea. I don't know. You're losing out on the Reaper scouting, right? But the Zerg wastes two Larva on Zerglings that will not do anything. Yep, there we go. Fourlings, the Queens, everything is cool. He's like, hmm. I feel like a Reaper should be showing up sometime soon. Let me just go quick, quick, quick third base before speed. And thinking about it, thinking about it. You could get speed or you could get a third hatch. Take your pick and it's a third hatch. Speed will come later. Or maybe a lair. Maybe we don't need speedlings at all. It's like, okay, so the Reaper should be here by now. What is going on? What are these shenanigans? Check for proxies. Run. Go. I mean, we just run across the entire map and see what's going on. It's like, crap, am I being proxied? If he was being proxied, though, I feel like they'd show up by now. There'd be a bunker. And Cyril wouldn't take a third base if he was being proxied. So... <laughs> All's well. All is well indeed. What are we doing? Hellions. Yes. Starport. Cool. 1-1-1-ing one, one, one it with ye old command center in the build there too. Slow Zergling says, hello. Hello, Govna. If you've got... Kill him. Kill him. Aw, if you've got a Reaper, I'm dead, but you don't. You meet a Marine first. How? How confusing. Oh, run. Run. Oh, nice juke left. Hellion. Oh, Hellion looking for him. Hellion looking for this guy. Where is he? Where's that slow ling? I want to roast him and toast him and eat him as barbecue for dinner. But no. No, Ling is running for his life. He's not anywhere near here. This overlord now has speed. Did we get speed before we got metabolic boost? Yeah, metabolic boost is just now starting. So overlord speed with the first, first amount of gas. I like it. I mean, overlord speed at this stage of the game, there's not much anti-air, right? Look at this overlord. He's like, aha, uh -huh, Marine's cool. Uh, could be, could be, could be more Hellions, but let's make sure we see what comes out of this factory, say the overlords, are we? Oh, ooh. he caught what I think is a tiny glimpse there of these Widow Mines. We're Widow Mine dropping? I like it, I like a good Widow Mine drop in the hands of someone who gets some really solid Widow Mine hits out. This can be amazing. Cure, I respect, I respect you. Doing this thing. Do you have an you have an armory? So they're perma cloaked, which means we need overseers. Like now. Production tab says no overseers. Also, no spores either. Dude. Dude. Okay, well, hmm. <laughs> so now you're trying to get in here. Ah, run! There's four queens. We flew right past an overlord. That's not gonna work out for us. These lings are still slow because again, the priority here was not speed, and now speed just finished at four and a half minutes, but. Ridiculous. Ooh, Widow Mines killing that Overlord, but now Serral knows it's Widow Mines. Spores! Hurry! Get spores in every bait. The main, we don't care about spores over here, though, because who's gonna put Widow Mines in my main? Certainly not a Terran player at all. 
goodness gracious. Boost? Do you have any boost? You have boost! Maybe save your boost for something else? This is so strange. So Hellions and a Widow Mines, but not getting a lot of damage done here. Again, we've killed uh, maybe two, oh, three Overlords maybe. Maybe one was Marines, but I think two of the Overlords would die to Widow Mines in particular, which is a little bit exciting. I'm kind of okay with this. Creep again, looking fantastic. Hellbat attack, because we have that armory and a landed Viking, too. Pull back to the spine. Do we have... No, we don't. Oh, oh, oh. remember how I was like... Oh, don't lose the... Mm. Ugh. Ugh. Drone down. Oh, these might be big hits. Oh, good run. Good split. Beautiful split there. Overlord takes a shot. And Medivac needs to pick up and get out of there. You have no HP remaining. This attack does get cleaned up. Thanks to the combined powers of the spine crawler and the queens and transfuse and some zerglings. And everything's fine. So Serral seems to have handled this pretty effectively. He's lost two drones, some overlords. He is supply blocked, which sure. Well, that's one way to slow down a Zerg player is kill their overlords. Uh, as a Zerg player, I hate it when that happens. It does definitely slow me down. Third base coming in for cure inside the main base. Creep spread is pushing. It is pushing all along the left side here, all along the bottom. Fantastic. Très, très fantastic. Are you just... There's nowhere for you to go, man. You have 12 HP. Going for another drop, because drops are cool. All Terrans love drops. <laughs> On a casual ride across the way. Trying to see what's coming up next. And the answer is, we're unloading right here, boys. And I'm gonna burn down a queen. Oh, the transfuse does keep it alive. Are you kidding? Sick transfuses. And there's banelings and there's lings here and there's queens and blah. That turned out to not be a great place to attack. This would have been a better place to attack. But again, the creep spread is so far out that by the time you get onto it and get here, the arm is repositioned and they're on top of you. So creep spread is already helping out Serral. Double pronged attacks might work here. Again, it's it's much better. Oh, Medivac dies. Widow Mines are like, well, we gotta kill something. They weren't sure if this one had fired yet, so they were very, very cautious there. Alright, see, look. Then you come here and you kill this creep, but then Serral has enough time to reposition his queens and reposition his lings and his bane lings, and Centrifugal Hooks is now done. Which means that's time to pick up and get the heck on out of there. Run. Run. Left side attack for Cure. The good news here for Cure is that he's really keeping Serral on the back foot. He really is. Serral has not felt confident moving out with anything. Not even a little wing run by at all. A couple Banelings hit, a couple Marines. Not the greatest value there. Trying to make good trades is all Cure can really do at this point. With a Marine Widowmine army, he can hope for a good Widowmine hit. Which top of the ramp here? It's gonna fire. Come on, chase me up here. Chase me up here. No, no, says Serral. I'm not going up a ramp. Oh, never mind. Bruno. Remember when I was like, the aggression's not happening from Serral? Yeah, we got some big baneling hits into that third base. This group all getting murderized as well. I just. Widow mine. Okay, fine. Five kills on that Widow mine. Creep spread getting pushed back. Again, if all you can do in a game of StarCraft 2 is kill creep and you do a good job of it, it's better than nothing. It's better than a kick in the pants. In the pants. Ooh, 14 mutalisks in production. My gosh, double expanding here is Serral feeling so confident. Okay, so that one gets canceled, but he was over. He's over expanding anyway, right? His army can defend this base on the left side, not so much the one on the top. Creep spread. Okay, down, 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 down. This group getting picked up. Some of them getting picked up anyway. Kill that tumor while the scan is alive. Oh, don't just stand on creep. Don't just stand on creep. Ah! Oh, he's waiting for a scan to be available to kill a tumor. Ooh, okay, fine. Tumors. Tumors dying. Cure's making Thors. He's making Widow Mines. Both those things are going to be good versus Los Mutalisks that do exist right now. Uh, this Widow Mine. Burrow. Too late. Fired. Okay, five drones got killed. Widow Mine, good unit. Again, if you're playing in a TVZ, your use of Widow Mines will increase your chances to win the game by about 30%. I've run the numbers on this. <laughs> Maybe that's a little bit high. 
But I do feel like a Widow Mine is a very, very, very good unit. Often will get a lot of value, a lot of bang for the buck. Unless, of course, you know, a whole horde of Mutalisks comes in and murders all of it. Alright, well, the good news for Cure is he's on three bases. His income tab is looking pretty, pretty good. I mean, it's back up into Serral territory, but that's just the natural up and down here of mules, All right. You've got three orbitals for three sets of mules, but also you have to use them for skins to kill those creep tumors. How effective are these mutalisks going to be? We'll have to find out, won't we? Are they going to catch some widow mine shots? Oh my gosh. Oh, no. Oh, one widow mine shot. That's enough to actually make us worry a little bit here. Oh, that one widow mine shot. Did you see that? See how one widow mine shot took all of these mutas, most of these mutas, down into the yellow, down into the orange? And it's forcing Serral back. If he doesn't take that Widowmine shot, he continues to push in. Continues to snipe down missile turrets. Sniping down add-ons. Really slows Cure down. But one Widowmine hit totally changed everything there. Serral is taking that 1 o'clock base. It's already done. He's got this left side base at the 9 o'clock too. I mean, he's just 6 base in it. Here at 11 minutes. Creep spread is everywhere. Cure is going to be able to maybe hang in here with the power of Thor's. And the power of the Widow Mines. Do we have any Widow Mines over here? Is it just done with those? Alright. I guess. You just go up this ramp? Sure, I guess. I mean... Yeah, Banelings don't do a whole lot there. Nice target fire on those Changelings, wiping them out. And Medivac trying to come home, I think, with an F2, but... Will get murderized, unfortunately. So Cure is basically maxed out. Serral is maxed out and starting to develop a bank, which is extremely bad. You know, for anyone who's not a Zerg fan here. We got 3-3 three, three coming in here for Cure. Widow Mines, ready to fire on stuff. Friendly fire, maybe. Nope, Banelings, fire. Okay, hitting on Marauders and Thors. That's a pretty good Widow Mine hit. The Widow Mines are dead now, but again, if you're taking out two Banelings for a Widow Mine, that is economically a good trade. That Thor gets totally left behind. Left behind for sure. And yeah, look at Cure 4 base in it here. So again, Cure's okay. Like economically, he has enough money to do a lot of good stuff here. It's just the thing that Serral has more economy to do more better stuff here, right? Ling Bling Muta is a very dangerous thing to try to pull off. Serral is one of the few players... Oh, those are big hits. One of the few players on planet Earth that I trust with Mutalisks. Alright, a lot of Ailings dying and just not getting a ton of value here. Like, Serral's trying to get in, but Cure just on top of his game right now. He's doing fine. I say that, and this whole group gets obliterated into the ground. Oh, Widowmine did not end up firing somehow, some way. Mutals against... Oh, Widowmine hit. It's trying to split, trying to spread his mutalisks as well as he can. Ah, oh, that Widowmine shot was terrible for Cure. Oh, Thor's get out of there. Run, you're not that fast. And continuing to roll here is Serral. The wall is back. The Banelings say, what wall? <laughs> All the links have to get on out. Oh, those Banelings are just... I'm not Again, I'm not sure if they're getting a ton of value here. But a lot of Banelings have died today. 43 Banelings have died. That means they've been killed. Not that they exploded on their intended target. Resources lost. 12,000 for Serral. 11,000 for Cure. The Zerg player has lost more. The Zerg player can win this way. That's why they have more bases. It's because they lose more resources uh, in every game regardless. And uh, But they can win. Even if that happens, yeah? Yeah, so this base is dead. Yep, base dead. Attack on the right side. See, this is... This is what I was worried about. The creep spread is starting to move on in here, friends. Oh, it's a lot of turrets getting some nice hits off. The mutas aren't doing super well, but the planetary goes down anyway. Bane Luke gets some nice hits. Cure is trying to keep this creep from getting two nuts on him up on this right side, and the left side's been 
fairly kept at bay as well here. We do have some Burrow Banes for Burrow Bane shenanigans. We'll keep an eye on those. Oh, 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 oh. I don't know if you don't want to explode on that Thor. Ideally, again, you catch a huge group. A huge group of Mechrins. Alright. So, I mean, look. cyril has got his six bases. He hasn't expanded for a while here. I think he wants more creep spread before he takes either this base or this base. And based on the Queen Presence, I think maybe he wants this base to be his seventh. Cure. Retaking his fourth. Again, a Terran is not dead until they are dead. He's building three command centers at a time right now. Army value is about even. Cure has a bigger army, actually, which doesn't bode particularly well here for Serral. Yeah, I just... Mm -mm. Thor? Enough to scare him away. More turrets would not be bad either, but Cure is so starved for money right now. That is a big problem. The Ultralisks have arrived! Those Ultralisks. One Ultra is going to go down here. Two Marauders. The other ones, I don't know about them. They, okay, another one goes down, another one almost goes down and has to get on out of there, but that's six more SCVs down. There's never been just a huge attack on SCVs to where like 40 of them have died. Only 18. That is a much lower number than I thought. I thought it'd be like 30, just in, you know, different patches of five and six and seven, but way fewer than that have gone down. Serral does take the Rich Vespine Geyser base on the right side here, as I thought he would, based on the creep spread pattern. And, you know, Serral, he's just got a bank. He could even lose all of this army for virtually nothing, which he kind of does. Like, that wasn't the greatest attack. A couple supply depots die, a couple marines die, like one marauder goes down. But resources lost 21,000 even for Serral and 17,000 for Cure. So Cure doing very tyranny things right now, right? Trying to keep this creep spread back along the left side. Always a good idea. The Ultralisks have anabolic synthesis. They have all of the upgrades you're ever going to want for an Ultralisk. And, all right, Banelings again crash through. Serral just replacing his Banelings stock over and over and over again here. SCVs have to get pulled on out right now. Ultra's chomping everybody to death, but... But enough Marauders remain here that the Ultralisks can't keep chomping through. And they do pull back. Serral is being cautious with his army. He's not just throwing them away, which is very easy to do as a Zerg player. Be like, I've got Ultras, I have Banelings, I have Mutas, go! And then everything dies, and you're like, oh. Well, good thing I have... Ooh, more Burrowed Banes. Good thing I have this bank, he says, of 5,000 minerals and 3,000 gas. That's actually great news for me. <laughs> Poor Widow Mine. Killed with extreme prejudice. Premature... Nope, we don't have a wall. Lift! Widow Mine! Ah, the Banelings! Oh, getting some big-time hits there anyway. Really trying to face smash his way in here. And again, six SCVs die, and Serral backs out. Thor is a good game. Good game for, uh, for macro stuff. I miss it. I miss this map. This is a really hard base for Cure to take here. It's just not... All right. Banelings exploded there. I don't... Hang on. Do they do anything... That took me back way farther than I thought it would. So you stim in. You didn't kill anything. The Widow Mines took some hits. They're injured, but... That's about it. Nom 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 nom. Ultralisk dies. This base, if it exists for cure, he can win this game. If this base never exists for cure, he cannot. Oh, Serral's taking this base too. Serral's taking one of cure's bases on this right side. Mom, Serral's taking Terran bases. Yes, it's true. Cure, I love you, man. I do. I think you've played a pretty good game here. Does this all just come down to kind of the fail of the Widowmine Harass? 
boy, Serral. He's just, how many banelings has he made today? It is a lot. It is a large number of banelings he's made today because every time he comes in for an attack, he's got like 20. Yeah, I mean, uh, a lot of your success. Okay, bad pathing. Bad pathing. An Ultra Lisker 2 died. Nicely done. That's a big deal. Here's like, all right, before he can replace the Ultra Lisks, go. There's already five in production. We're on a timer here. Killing a couple Creep Queens. I think he either... Okay. I was going to say he either needs to reestablish this base or he needs to go kill something. And he hasn't killed a base yet. The early Widowmind stuff just did not do enough damage. It didn't kill enough. It didn't slow down Serral enough. And this is kind of the result, you know? Fine idea, but uh, not the best execution. Cure trying to stutter step as well as he can. He's got enough Marauders to take down this Ultralisk, and they do. But the Mutas and the Banelings and the Lings are a larger problem, and that's your good game. Cure taps out in 20 minutes and 23 seconds. And Serral is your winner today for that Sunday cast. Oof, hit that like button. Honestly, I think Serral just played pretty much as well as Serral does. Cure went for a bit more of a risky play, going for the Widowmine drops to start, which can be very good, right? They can be extremely good in the right hands. But unfortunately, Cure today was not, not those right hands. Wow, absolutely fantastic. Fantastically played game there by Serral. Cure had the right idea, had some good ideas there. Able to get up to that four base pretty easily. The problem was Serral was on um a lot. N nine at the end of the game. <laughs> yeah, you need to kill more bases. The mutas in the hands of Serral are just fantastic. He lost 16, but he had 10 at the end of the game, which sure... Probably as good as you can expect in a 20-minute game where you're not quite, you know, it's not quite as close. You can still be afford to be a little bit more sloppy. 138 Banelings died. Again, that's 138 Banelings exploded without hitting their target. So how many more hit their target? We make 200 Banelings today? I think maybe we did. 382 Zerglings died. <laughs> Whew, eight Ultralisks went down. Considering they were introduced in the last, like, two minutes of the game, that's a lot of dead Ultras. Th but three Command Centers and a Planetary Fortress... Uh, and I think an orbital died in there too. Uh, no, that was a command center that the Mutalisks killed. That's right. Yeah, just too many bases died. Zero hatches down. You just in a twenty-minute game against Serral, if you kill zero hatches, I don't, I don't think there's a path to win at that point. So, good game, good little Sunday game today for you, and that's going to be it for me. So this has been Falcon Paladin coming at you. With yet another edition of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching. You take care of yourself.